Well, things turned into other things, and, and I'm like, wow, I'm not really, I don't really want to have sex. I'm just, you know, let's just kiss, let's hug, let's cuddle, let's, you know. Well, he just did what he did. And so now I'm pregnant. And I'm like, God, I want to go to college. Now, I don't tell you that not only did I have all this other stuff happening, I grew up not necessarily, we weren't necessarily poor per se, but we didn't always have a lot. And I grew up around a lot of activity. And what I mean by that is a lot of, I was around drug activity, I was around gang activity. So I had a lot of stuff around me. But somehow I knew that I wanted something different for my life. I knew that I didn't want to be what was happening to me or what had gone on inside of me. And that's the beautiful thing about God and resetting and rebuilding is that you actually get to choose the life that you want. Do you understand how powerful that is? Amen. You get to choose the life you want. No matter what's happened to you. That is so beautiful to me. And so, I was like, okay, I just, you know, I'm going to do this abortion because I just don't want to be a teen mom. I don't want to be a statistic. I don't want to be a single mom. I want to go to college. I want to do something with my life. They don't tell you how difficult just going to the facility of an abortion can be. Like, I remember to this day the sounds. I remember the smells. I remember the facility. I remember the lady that checked me in. I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember waking up. Once you get an abortion, they put you to sleep. And I remember waking up in this room where it's quiet and it's peaceful. There's no peace in here. Because I'm waking up and I'm like, God, what did I do? What did I do? And so I leave and I don't remember really ever asking God to forgive me. I just remember feeling like I didn't even deserve to be forgiven. 